Often positive reinforcement training gets linked with clicker training as if clicker training and positive reinforcement training go hand in hand, but that's not necessarily true. You can have positive reward based methods without a clicker and you can definitely have a clicker without positive reward based methods. Similarly, people think that the clicker training is equal to science backed or that the two are mutually exclusive. But today we're going to be reviewing the science of clicker training and the effectiveness of using a clicker to train your dog. So we're going to be giving you a look into that scientific literature and then I'm going to be explaining my personal opinion and hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a better understanding and we can debunk some of the myths about clicker training. Let's get into it. What's up guys, it's Jenna with Dog Liaison where I coach you on how to enhance your dog's mental health needs. On this channel we break down scientific research and that is what we're doing today. We're looking at the science of clicker training. Now if you don't know what a clicker training is or a clicker is, it's very similar to using a marker word like yes or good. So basically you hit the click and then you feed or you say yes and then you feed. And so this video isn't really going to get into the nuance of how to click or train. We're just looking at the effectiveness. But if by the end of this video, you're interested in learning how to teach your dog a marker word, you can check out this video right here. Open that in a new tab. I've given you an explanation in there. Also, by the end of this video, if you decide that clicker training is the right thing for you and you want to pursue it, I have linked a video in the description box on how to click or train your dog. So today we're looking at the effectiveness of clicker training. Now, Full transparency, I do clicker train my own dog and um, you know I have experience using the clicker and that's all great. Uh, however, in my Recovering Ruva program, which is my signature program to treat dogs with anxiety, we do not deliberately tell our clients to use a clicker. Instead, we tell our clients to use a marker word. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna explain why that is because there's a very good reason. So stay tuned for that. But first, let's look at the science. The truth of the matter is that the effectiveness of the clicker in training any species has been well studied for many years. They looked at several different species and studies in other species have shown that the use of food alone, so not using a clicker and then feeding, but food alone when establishing a new behavior is more effective in cats, but less effective in goats and equally effective in horses. And so, as we see this discrepancy across the, the species where the clicker is sometimes more effective, sometimes equally, sometimes less effective than just delivering food straight, as we see this discrepancy, the running hypothesis is that probably it has to do with the individual species learning process. So perhaps the clicker is more effective with some species depending on how their brain receives new information, but less effective in other species. But that's a running hypothesis that definitely for sure needs more research. When we look at dogs specifically, there is a very good running list of literature on dogs. In 2008, researchers did a super basic assessment of the effectiveness of the clicker compared to just saying yes and feeding and compared to just delivering food straight. So under those three contexts. And they looked at the effectiveness when teaching a dog to nose bop. I think it was like an orange or something. It was super simple. And what they found was that it did not decrease the time of the learning. So effectively all three of those cases were comparable in the effectiveness to teach the dog. So there wasn't like the clicker training did not automatically make the dog learn faster, right? Similarly, in 2016, researchers did an additional assessment under these contexts, one with the clicker, one with a marker word like yes, feed, and then one with just straight delivering the food. And again, the all three conditions were equally effective. So one of those conditions was not automatically better. So again, they did this study in 2018. They looked at it one more time and the finding was once again affirmed that when comparing these three groups, there was no obvious advantage to using the clicker. They said the results show no specific benefit or disadvantages to using a clicker in dog training in terms of the dog's impulsivity and problem solving skills or the relationship between owner and dog. So there's still no clear advantage to using a clicker. 
And with each of these studies, they really did refine the research to make sure that it was more specific and that it was asking more in-depth questions. And so the studies did get better, but the clicker training community really had some faults. They said, well, what about in these specific conditions? What about under this context and under this circumstance? And they really just kept saying, well, there's still validity to using a clicker. And so the most recent literature came out in 2021 and this was the most comprehensive uh, paper to date. It really did three experiments. It looked at it from different lenses, and it really was the most in-depth thus far on the effectiveness of a clicker or the effectiveness of a marker. And after running three different experiments, researchers found no evidence to support the claim that using a clicker for training dogs results in acquisition of a novel behavior more rapidly or to a higher level compared to just delivering treats alone or a verbal marker and then treats. When teaching behaviors of greater specificity, Chi and Daddy et al. in 2016 observed no benefit of either a clicker or a marker word and neither did Durrett et al. in 2020. And so to date, there are no data that argues that using a clicker or for that matter, using a marker word is inherently more effective at training your dog to do anything than if you had just straight given them a treat from your pocket. There's no data that says that. And so right now you might be thinking, well, shoot, we've all been duped. Well, I mean, I guess we can throw out the clicker, we can throw out the marker word, all this can go out the window, but not so fast. <laughs> Hold up, because there are a couple things we need to consider. In response to the 2021 paper, Ken Ramirez, who is an esteemed dog trainer in my community and a avid proponent of clicker training made a very interesting article and of course I'm going to link that in the description box below along with all of my uh, citations for all of the research articles that I'm using here. All of those can be found in the description box below. But Mr. Ramirez said he points out that there are many tests the science hasn't examined yet. Um, before ruling out the clicker just yet we need to keep a couple things in mind. First he says that the experiment did test the clicker training at a distance, so a distance between the human and the dog, but the clicker is also super advantageous when the dog can't see the trainer. So which is to say, if you're training your dog to do a behavior around the corner and they can no longer hear you, or see you rather, the clicker is that way to identify specifically the behavior that earned your dog the treat, right? And tells you exactly when the behavior is done. That wasn't really tested in that, in that experiment and hasn't been tested to date. Additionally, the clicker is also super advantageous when a behavior needs to be repeated um, and you need to tell the dog when the behavior is over. So for example, if you're teaching a dog to back up, you want them to back up to a certain destination, right? The clicker is able to mark the precise moment that the dog hits the desired destination. So they back up, they back up, they back up, and they know I just keep doing this backup behavior until I hit my designated destination. I'll hear that click and then I can stop, right? So the clicker is a way to tell the dog exactly, or any species for that matter, exactly when a behavior is over, they can finish doing that, come get their reward. And so there are places that the research, the science, hasn't yet investigated and that we would presumably hypothesize the clicker might be more advantageous in that case. So with all that in mind, let me give you my personal opinion on the clicker. Regarding specifically the clicker, I don't think the average dog owner who's going to teach their dog to do basic skills really needs to use a clicker. It doesn't add anything to the learning experience for the dog or for you per se. However, it's also pretty inconvenient to hold and I can tell you just anecdotally that my clients often report that holding the clicker is super inconvenient when they have their leash and they've got you know their their treats and they've got to walk the dog and they've got this. When they're out in the world holding the clicker just seems to be less convenient for them. And this was something that was also affirmed in an Instagram poll that I did in which 58% of you said that using a marker word like yes or good was more convenient than holding a clicker. 
If you love your clicker and you're watching this video being like, no, it's the greatest thing on the planet and it's helped me and my dog so much and it's so great, good. Keep using the clicker. It's okay. You're not doing any harm by using the clicker. Nothing bad is happening because you're using it. And if it brings you joy in life, great. However, if you're watching this and you're thinking the clicker has been a real pain in the neck, put it down. It's going to be okay. Especially if you're just teaching a basic skill. That said, I do think that the clicker has a really good place in higher level learning uh, if you're going to train your dog to do a more specific behavior. I think that the clicker is very advantageous. And a perfect example of this is at Prancing Percy on Instagram. This dog does remarkable things, my friend. If you're not following them, please go follow them. But secondly, this dog was clicker trained. And I would guess, in my personal opinion and in my personal imagination, I would guess that the clicker absolutely added and contributed to the efficiency and um, clarity for the dog when he was learning these skills. I would probably venture to say that the that the clicker has been very helpful for them. So it seems to be that there's there is a place for clicker training in the dog training sphere. I just don't personally think that it needs to be there if a person doesn't want it. And it certainly doesn't need to be there if a dog owner is finding it inconvenient. But I have to admit that I was a little outvoted on this in an Instagram poll. 54% of you said that the clicker is just as necessary for basic skills like sitting down as it is for higher level learning. And so I was a little outvoted. Y'all said that it's just as needed. Now, regarding the marker word, like yes or good, I am going to continue using the marker word and I'm going to continue encouraging my clients to use a marker word. And at this point, you might be thinking, that doesn't make any sense, Jenna. What a hypocrite. Let me explain. <laughs> I don't think that the marker word is needed to teach a dog basic skills per se. I don't think that it's in the acquisition of the new behavior. I don't think the marker word like saying yes or good is doing a ton for that dog to, to learn sit or to d learn down. But the marker word has other advantages other than just to mark a specific behavior like yes, you put your floor, your butt to the floor, here's a treat. It does other things for that. And the perfect example is, like I said, in the RP, our dogs are working through a lot of reactivity, anxiety, and if they're out in the world and they see their trigger, hearing a pop word, a very meaningful word like yes, gets them to disengage from the trigger and check in with their human. And so having that word is a way to get their dog to look back at them and know that something good is going to happen. Additionally, having a sequence of events like seeing the trigger, hearing the marker word, getting food, seeing the trigger, hearing the marker word, getting food. That sequence of events is a pattern that really helps anxious dogs. It's predictable, it's controllable. And so having the ability to run through that sequence of events is very advantageous, I find, uh, for our reactive dogs. And that's one of the reasons why I encourage marker words to be used with reactivity. So my question for you in the comments is, after hearing the scientific literature, hearing my opinion and hearing this video, do you think that the clicker is more effective than just delivering a treat? Now, interestingly enough, when I did this poll on Instagram, 199 people to 31, 199 to 31 said they do think the clicker is more effective. So I'm interested in hearing after you've heard this video, what are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you get notified when I drop a new video. If you're looking for more science explained videos, I have an entire playlist dedicated to just that. If you're looking to teach your dog a marker word, you can check out this video right here and I'll see you guys next time.